going back to this video, my first ever egg gave me here another premiere start the episode of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. On the Wii U, and today we are officially on the temple called Gerudo Town Village, and we officially wanted to go on by on our objective today by freeing the Divine Beast. That is going to be what Emperor is asking our objective what to do for our goal today. Let's just get on to it. But before we continue journey to the village of um, Gerudo, we're going to go on and check things, start things off. Because I pretty much have the um, collected so far is the, uh, the Blue Knight Shadow already since the uh, last song to get the episode. Because, um, uh, episode, I mean, sorry, where I pronounced it wrong, but eventually, take a look what I got here so far. So I got the Luminous Stone, uh, the Book Cup, no. And the, the new item pick up here, the Hot uh, Footage Frog. So eventually, I um, officially collected since I was on the last in the ponds. Because I cannot tell where they are, so eventually, I just wanted to look forward to whatever else uh, the frog's at in the future. So, um, I'm pretty much allergic to frogs, just letting you know, because I don't like any frogs, so I don't want to go on and use that. So, uh, please, uh, Lotus Seed, that I think they pick up four, um, in, uh, day, uh, what is this village called? D, uh, uh, Village? Something like that. I cannot pronounce what it is, the village is, but apparently, uh, it's for, uh, there, and I cannot tell where, um, I exactly saw it. So, this is the, um, the Sneaky River Snail I collect so far. Uh, I'll get the book Coblin fill them up. Oh, here you have it. So, uh, this uh, exclusive video that I, I kind of like tell because eventually I kind of like, um, call here it's an ember. They say fossilized, uh, resin with the, uh, caramandalotny. I cannot pronounce, um, this caramandalotny because you guys, I had to translate that beat for me in the comment section below because I don't know what the, uh, the C, uh, pronounced the translating that word is right. So eventually, just correct me if I'm wrong. So eventually, here's the, uh, exclusive clip that I found it. So, here it goes. Alright, so eventually, I want to tell you something real quick, uh, just to let you know. So eventually, I have found this uh, chest, and further ado, let me show you this. So I can use my magnet to pick it up, and further ado, you guys can see, you can collect the chest as you used to not even see. So eventually, let's just cancel back, and further ado, open this chest, and see what it is. So eventually, here we have it. So we have uh, cut it so far, it's the ember, a uh, fossilized resin with a uh, caramel liquid uh, sheen to it. I've been uh, about to a uh, uh, component in uh, decoration and crafting since ancient time. Okay, but I cannot pronounce what this uh, Corrales, Corrales is, is because it's uh, pretty hard. I cannot translate that word right because I want to translate it as Kremlin, Kremlin, okay? I have no clue what it means, okay? Or Kremlin's. So, um, just Kremlin's, alright? So, eventually, let's just head back. So, uh, fair ado, um, that's all I have to tell you. So, eventually, um, see you when I get back. Okay, now since you guys last uh, saw the video, let's just uh, continue on. So um, now on, on the right, I still got one of my hydro melon and um, one of uh, this uh, hearty truffle that we don't want to go on and waste three, two more of a um, healthy heart. So we don't want to go on and do that. So further, let's just get on back and I'll talk to this guard over here that asked what um, one, one to uh, talk to. So eventually, uh, I'm uh, not allowed in good old town. So quite a loader and, and get out of here. Okay, so you don't want me in here? Huh? So stop right there. For uh, forbidden form, um, what is it? Forbidden form to enter this town. Turn back this way you came. Okay, so he, she do, um, he doesn't want me to uh, go right into the village, so why? So I won't forbidden from entering the town. Turn back the way. All right, blah, blah, blah. Let's not say that anymore. Uh, sorry, I had to say that too fast. So eventually, let's just go on and uh, find another way around it because he, she don't want me to go on and talk to you. So eventually, we're just gonna go on and trash past him, just like that. Uh -huh. So Sunday alarm the ball had been detected. Cut to him at once. Okay, what is happening now? But I still can't see how I can't get through. But it's um, it's pretty tricky to understand. What's going on? Okay, that's that that's bull. So vow forbidden from entering this town. This is Gerudo law. Do you understand? Never come back. Man, he don't want me to go in. That's pretty rude. But I just want to go on and free that divine beast, but she, that's pretty rude. Okay, you know what? We're going to go on and try pass somewhere else. We cannot go back there because eventually the guards want me to uh, not get through it. So further ado, I'm trying to find my way uh, around it. So simply and I uh, last spotted by the guards. We're not gonna go on and um, officially see. So going around here, we're trying to uh, locate our next um, target where we release it and go on and see the uh, divine beast. 
Let's just go on and see that uh, do our work best to do because there are four uh, beasts that we need to go and buy and free. So let's just try our hardest to uh, quickly see what we're supposed to do. So can this guy let me in? Okay, so here we have it. So it's time to raise. So I'm talking to him. So this is uh King the Hylian. This is the northwest girl Gerudo town. Feel free to admire it from the outside. But don't attempt to cross the sphere uh bear uh what is it? Trash hold or town law state of uh, like yourself and not allow within these walls. So I must admit it's impressed you to get here from the northwest. Did you choose to pass back throughout that sandstorm to get there here or that's right? Or yeah, I did. So no, that would be impossible. A Gerudo stern thorn has the temperament of the raging stallion. One into one, and you'll lose our sense of direction. Uh, even as Gerudo in the, in the blind, uh, if one sees upon us, I shudder to think what would happen to a hiding in a sandstorm. It will be utterly impossible for you to navigate on. And that uh, precisely why ancient cultures hide all manners and treasure uh, of treasure in the Gerudo desert. So having said that, I don't really know about uh, uh, the detail either. So what about one? So there are statues of swordsmen scattered across Gerudo desert. They are remnants of ages of long past. Okay, look how tall that dude is. Um, now he is. So eventually, he, he kind of reminds me that uh, 50 foot tall. I would mind. Um, I suggest that. So eventually, he will talk about statue pointing to hiding place of ancient treasure. But that is just a uh, superstition. If it is what's true, there are dangerous monsters in the sandstorm. I wouldn't miss it. Oh well, man. Uh, we'll put this. Uh, okay. So our new quest is the Silent Sword, man. So that's our uh, main objective for today. So further ado, let's just get on back to our inventory log. And uh, further ado, let's just go and see what our justice has to do. So here's a new um, objective for uh. Lightning. So he says here, the Gerudo Desert Gateway that uh, say that the Swordman Statue point the way to treasure. Heard again, this means brave in the storm, sandstorms. Okay. So uh, eventually, let's just uh, solve this quest for uh, Lightning, or as you pronounce it, Lightning. I cannot uh, tell the difference about that anymore. So eventually, talking about the herd, let me see what he has to say. So I'll get caught in the Gerudo Sandstorm, and you'll lose all sense of direction. They often take in even a uh, uh, Gerudo by surprise. But the danger of the sandstorm is precisely why Asian people hire all manners of treasure in the Gerudo sandstorm. Treasure? Have to say that? I don't really know of that detail either. There are statues storming. Oh, okay, well, we already keep saying that already. Why you always keep repeating what I have to say to you? So, um, right now you keep saying everything, but I already keep, so we're not gonna uh, keep reading anything just about now. Because we need to figure out the rest of where to go because eventually are we in the right place or what is this anyway? So this is my current location and this is where we at. So let's not worry about it right now. Can we just get going? So I cannot allow Val uh Bow to go any further. I must ask you to leave at once. Okay, that's pretty rude. I have a uh, hard superstition out why this guy had to be so not friendly and want me to go on and uh, take his place. But anyway, let me go on further ado, go to that statue and see what it does. Actually, can we do anything by examining it? So, what are we supposed to do now? Let me go on and pick up the sword. Can you pick up the sword? Okay, so I'm going to pick up the traveler Claymore and I'll take one. And further ado, I don't want to get too close to the desert because I know I'm freezing, so I got to get out of the desert. So as soon as possible. So let me get out. Man, I'm losing half of my heart, so I got to speed up. Okay, so can I not be cold already? Come on, I have to pick up the pace. Come on, Link. I need to speed up. Okay, that's good. So I cannot see that the guard won't let me uh, through. So further ado, um, what am I supposed to do anyway? Okay. So, so many statues point the way to treasure, however, getting the new breaking sandstorm. Okay, but it's asking me to point to treasure? That's look what it's leading me to? Look, I, I don't have a horse to get to it, but eventually I need to stay on this road in case I don't want to get go freezing to death. So, further ado, let's just go and uh, figure ahead and get some food because we really don't want to keep on wasting as much uh, food as soon as possible. So, uh, further ado, I want to go and eat something, something uh, delicious, so. None other than um, raw meat. I don't mind wasting raw meat. Let me go and eat some. 
So I'm just gonna keep all the scuttling back up so I don't wanna lose one. So we should be good to go. So now let's just get to you one. So I'm just trying to figure out my ways how to get to it because the desert uh, is so tough that I cannot tell why I'm freezing. Because according to my uh, bottom row of the, uh, my Fahrenheit um, icon, I cannot tell why I'm freezing because I kept wasting uh, a lot more of my heart because it's pretty uh, uh, hard to understand these words correctly. But eventually, let me try on and go on a seat because I'm trying to run fast because I wasted a little bit much more time on my stamina. Because it's not pretty good to uh, see what this game is all about, but eventually, let's just go on and solve her quest then and now. Uh, not forget about that just about now. So further ado, we're just seeking um, down below because I cannot stop waste a um my row, but eventually let me pick up another um another traveler to play more and uh simply pick one. So further ado, I need to go on and um officially get some more food. So right now let me go on ahead and um Okay, I cannot uh, eat the silence well, can I not? No. Actually you no, know I can eat this. And just kind of like waste some more and then um, not eating them all. So eventually, can I use just only one of this? A uh, hearty truffle? I don't mind eating one. I'm just going to waste one. So if do, we have enough parts to get to it. So now, let's just keep on following the, uh, the trail. Making sure we don't need um, a lot more stamina as we've seen as possible. So eventually, where can these uh, directions can, uh, possibly um, take me? Because it's kind of interesting to me how to uh, see where I'm going. But eventually... It's uh far to understand how to not get to the um get to the bitter, but eventually let's let's just see to what we to what we're doing next. So further ado, let's just see because I can tell because these are the lizards. So, so eventually let me go and buy an attack them. So eventually I've been wasting uh a uh, weapon, so I need to go and uh, use something but Chadler Claymore. So let me go and use that. So Eventually, he just halfway killed me. Man, that um, Balkoblin is one tough um, enemy. But I cannot tell why I almost forgot to use the shield, but eventually, never mind that. Let's just continue on. So, uh, for her to do, there's a lot more stuff to do, I know, because eventually, according to my uh, the Nintendo, it's, um, it's pretty much on the strategy how I'm not even seeing the, uh, the point of this. So, let's just try again. And I'd rather prefer not to die, so eventually, it's no uh, hard to, uh, to suggest that. So, eventually. Let me go on and uh, see because there's still got to be a lot more things to do around here. So right now, let me go on and kill all these guys. Oh, all right, Jake, let me go on and kill you. So I almost forgot to equip this, so let me go on and do that. So, okay, he, okay, that Chandler, um, vehicle, uh, Claymore could actually kill me. You know what, let's not kill all these cops. I'm, I'm, I'm not wasting this. I'm not pretty much wasting this. So let me split that to where I am, so I'll see you ahead. Alright you guys, back to where I start. So here you have it. So I kind of like pick up some more of those hydro melon that we see in the in, uh, sand ground. So we're going to pick them up all. And further ado, we're going to go on and um, uh, increase our situation to eat more of those um, hydro melon we can. Let me go on by and uh, eat them all. So I could be have enough strength to uh, keep on moving forward. So now on, let's just get on to it. So now on, I can probably see because this guard won't let me in, and uh, it's pretty much understandable. Guy. How am I supposed to do anyway to quickly um, avoid getting attacked? So we have to solve the shrine guess on um, quest. I cannot tell where it's at. So it's at the root town, and we cannot go there because eventually, I cannot see where it's at. But eventually, let me go on and uh, see to myself where it's at. So I don't know where the Guru Town uh, sh Shrine is at, but eventually it's uh, it's hard to suggest where it's at. But eventually, okay, there's a guard that that don't want me in there. So eventually, I'm just just gonna go on and uh, do some rock climbing, so I'm making sure I'm not being recognized. So can I climb on this arm um, rock? Okay. So let me do the same thing as this one. So can I climb up here? Anyway. Okay, so okay, so the raw just saw me and I can't get into that. I can't climb up because eventually the guard won't let me in, so I can't see that problem. All right, and I get kicked off because eventually the guard won't uh, officially want to keep talking nasty at me. Man, don't treat Link uh, as a kid like that. Um, the raw, what are you on earth for you? He's just a uh, Link uh, child and a prophecy of uh, saving uh, the world, but eventually, what is wrong with the uh, guy anyway? He won't let me through. Okay, so come on, everybody. Uh, Saba Oh wow! Don't tell me you crossed the Guru the Desert on foot. I came on foot. Okay, not on. I rode it. So must have been hard to walk through the desert, especially having your feet sinking to the sand. 
It's coming since to travel the desert with sand seal around here. My name is Freela. Uh, I run a shop at Garuda Town where I rent out sand seals. Uh, most people can't take the time to train their own seals and milk seals. I rent out the ones I train. <laughs> if you need to know anything about sand seal, I should be uh, your first stop. Okay, well, uh, fairly young. Uh, nice to see you uh, stopping by. So eventually, let me go on by and I hit one of these um, seals. So I can see that they can go on and cut underground. I can tell because it's interesting to me how they're um, doing this. But come on, you guys. Can I get on your back or do something? Don't run up for me. Come on. Come on, let me get on your back. Okay, but they don't want to be uh, friends with me. I can't get on their backs. But it's uh, a little bit hard to understand how to uh, befriend them or do something. Yeah, I know I got another saving, but I got to figure out how to um, ride on the back and like, avoid getting on, on in the desert. Yeah, but I can see the difference why they uh, can go on and uh, cut on the sand. Okay, come on, grab. Okay, let me try to do this. So, come on out. Man, these uh, seals are so fast. Oh, what are these uh, shields are? Because eventually, I'm just trying to get on the back. Alright, okay, it's not working. Come on now. Okay, I'm freezing to death. I had to get out of here. So, why is this, uh, the fair high taking me uh, down below to the blue section? I cannot tell what the odds about that anymore. So, can we sneak up to him? Can we do anything? Anything to get on his back? By like, avoid. Not getting hit by our uh, stamina. Okay, he don't want me. He doesn't want to uh, join me. Okay, this is really not working. So if you have any questions about uh, sand seals, uh, come talk to me. I quite uh, go and train them. So sand seal, how do I catch one? So how do I wind one? Or how do I ride one? Let me talk about that. So stay a sand seal is really easy. But go in whatever direction you want. But you need a shield to uh, sand seal uh, surf, so don't forget about that. So eventually, here we go. So now we can go on and uh, see what the direction is asking us to uh, use the sand seal to go surfing on the sand. Because we really want to do that to make sure we don't all uh, go on and uh, catch cold and uh, die and lose our hearts. So we don't want to do that. So right now, say see, he see, um, say see that you will need to uh, to equip a shield before uh, riding. Okay. You know the best way for you to learn how to uh, do this is by just doing it, okay, man, um, a sand seal, or, let's talk about how do, do I catch one first. So sand seals are especially uh, sensitive to the uh, sound around them, which you get to approach very, very slowly. It's a pain in the rock that, um, road, so most uh, gorillas just end up running the one instead. So eventually we can go in and crouch, oh, okay, pretty uh, neat, so we can go, we, so we can allow to move quietly. When uh, when I'm catching them, that that might be pretty good. So uh, hopefully, um, let's give that for a try by uh, not seeing um, uh -huh. what the chance is all about. So right now, let's just go on and uh, catch one. So further ado, we're gonna go on by and uh, crouch under. That's what um, this lady asked me to do. Almost forgot of my strategy how to play, but eventually I need to move out a little bit slowly. And further ado, I want to sneak up quietly. Come on. I'm gonna sneak up quietly. Don't wanna go in and uh, piss him off. Alright, uh, here we go. So now we're gonna ride on him. And now we're gonna just go and dash. So let's just go and do that. So, okay, so pretty neat. So now I can go in and dash to whatever direction I want to go. Pretty neat. So, further ado, let's just dash uh, super quickly. So we don't wanna slow down because you know I've been um, down below to my third height and I don't wanna keep on doing that. So, further ado, let me go on and uh, take a look around here. So what on earth? Why you take me there? Come on now, keep going. Okay, you stop. So why you stop? Okay, so it won't let me take me this way. So let's take a look at this place. And I wanted to go on and explore around to see what I can uh, do around here for my uh, objective for today. So we really gotta solve this question in order to get back. So we gotta find this um this shot over there. So where are uh, objective that's not to go again? Okay, so. <coughs> So, say this is going to instantly point the way treasure. I remember getting that means having a sandstorm. Okay, well, we gotta go on the final uh, sandstorm or whatever. Because it's not on uh, Garuda Town Village. We got, it gotta be around here when you're uh, looking for it. 
So just to be sure, because it's uh, it gotta be right around here. All you gotta do is watch out for that uh, little round guy, whatever his name is. So let's see. here we have it. So this is uh, a new item that we pick up today. So the Lazafa uh, horn. The winning horn once grew atop the head of the uh, of the uh, lizard falls. It's too hard to do for cooking, but stores and willing to buy it from you. It could also be used to make uh, elixir. Okay, then we'll go on and pick it up. So what we got here is uh, another uh, Lazafa. Lazafa talon. The talon um, talon once grew from the elbow of uh, la, uh, what is it? Lazafa. Um, you can stew it with uh, critters to mix a uh, lysir, uh, but it may have some other uses as well. Okay, then let's just go and pick it up then. And for ado, let's just go and get the rest. So, we got all two of them up um, collected. So, now we gotta get on to it. So, right now, let's just continue on. And uh, for ado, I um, rather not go on and climb that. So, I really don't want to go and do that. So, eventually, let's just go and uh, for ado, uh, speed up a little bit much more time. And further ado, we're just trying to see where these um, shinies are taking me just about now. So let's just go ahead and spawn around and see what we can do. So uh, eventually, where's this? <clears throat> Before we get started, let me just get, see what this temple is. So there's nothing around here. We're just trying to solve this quest. So further ado, what is this anyway? Let's pick up that. So I see what we collect is the electric uh, sapphalina. So the med um, medicinal, medicinal plant grows uh, abundantly in the Gerudo Desert. It's a uh, peculiar, what is it, peculiar fiber that uh, conducts electricity with well creature electricity res resonance uh, when cooked into a dish. Okay, uh, pretty neat. And further ado, there are still more to uh, pick up. Let me go on, on ahead and uh, pick them up. So I see that the, uh, according to the fair height, it's uh, just keep on pointing me up. So it's, it keeps you pointing down below. It keeps you uh, freezing uh, the sand. That means you can uh, positively lose uh, a heart as soon as none stop. So you want to make sure you um, watch out for that. So apparently, you know you got to look out because the, uh, the fair height is uh, on the bottom um, row of the uh, right hand side. You want to make sure you uh, look out for that. And uh, for ado, I'm just trying to see what this, uh, no, this is a Northern Ice House, we're not going after this, so just not yet. So for ado, I just, uh, felt that we should just go, uh, back to, so where we're supposed to go. So I have not a clue, uh, where we're supposed to go next. You know what, I will see you when I get back, so, uh, eventually since I'm picking up this last electric, uh, set like Lena, so it will take me weeks to get on to the, um, to the village, so eventually see you there. Alright, so I kind of like figured my way how to get to the, uh, the doll of Jesus Shrine. So, this here we have it. So now we're going to go on and examine this uh, Shika Slate. We got a kind of find, we got the shrine that I'm not looking for. It's what this guy asked me to go through. So now we're going to go on ahead and uh, journey down below to see what kind of shrine we can uh, pick up. More of those spirit words or one or other um, stuff that we can go and pick up. So let's see. Turn around to Garuda Town, we're gonna go on um, down below to this uh, alien elevator, like right, right, six and nine. So, look at, I kinda like make that into a funny joke, that's been, um, especially when my, what I'm just saying. But eventually, it's uh, pretty honest, depending on uh, what I'm looking for down below. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this one, so let's just go on and um, see. So, let's just skip this uh, cutscene and let's just see. So, this is the whole picture of uh, the Qual uh, Chiza Shrine, okay. Right now, here we have it in this um, TJ's shrine. Let's just go on ahead and uh, journey down below and see what kind of um, place stuff that we're picking up today. So, further ado, I see a lot more uh, magnet to um, pick up. So, let me go on ahead and uh, pick it up just about now. So, we can go on and drag it with anything we can uh, possibly do around here. So, uh, where can we possibly uh, direct this box to? Or what else can we do to it? So, let's see. Can we direct it put it over here? Oh, where can we direct the box? Over here? I don't mind, we can put it there. So, I'm not even see because we're just putting this uh, box um, crate uh, just about this way. So, further ado, let's just try um, getting up there. Oh, shoot! How on earth? Okay, I not see the problem, so let's continue on. I'm gonna go on and try that again, so I'll see you ahead. Alright, so, um, quick announcement, because I officially figured out how to place the barrels when you're using the magnet. You really need to uh, place a barrel right where the button is, and eventually get back the box and the physical, um, stand. So that might help. So first, dude, let's just do the same thing, because I kind of like get a little frustrated with this puzzle. And further, dude, I want to go on and place something else. So here we have it. 
So now we officially want to go and uh, open a, a, a trap door that is officially stuck because there's another barrel we can officially pick it up. So let's just further do on um, collect this barrel and officially leave it somewhere that we're supposed to do by uh, officially leaving it somewhere this way. So I don't see the barrel is not activating the green button. So let me see. Okay, just place it like that and. The chat door is already open, so eventually let's just uh, remove this um, box just about now. So I don't see the problem when they're uh, lifting up this uh, box uh, eventually. I'm not even seeing the problem about that. So eventually, let me just do the same thing because we really need to go on and uh, just free the chat door because officially that it's already been lit up. Let's just go on right ahead and uh, do the same. And further ado, let's just do it as we promised to. So eventually, here we have it. So wait, hold on, hold on for a second. So let me uh, put this um, back to um, this spot. So we're gonna put this um, back to where we found it to open this next gate so we can get the chest. And we're gonna take the barrel. Oh no, hold on. Put it down. And we're gonna magnetic this uh, barrel and we're gonna uh, put it, place it somewhere um, about this deep below. Because we're gonna put it right where this orange spot is at. So can it do anything? Just activate the orange spot. Oh, you know what? We need like two of them. To, um, we need two of this um box to go on and activate. So we need to uh, get the last box. So first, you let me uh put this barrel, this second row. Oh, I almost forgot the back button. Forgot these. And first, you let's just go and get the chat um the cube box. Oh, whatever it is, uh, get the cube. So we're gonna place this um weird looking cube um shrine uh somewhere uh, nearby. Um, this way. So we're gonna put it this uh, direction, this um, like just like that way. And further ado, we're gonna go on and uh, magnet this uh, barrel and place it um, this way. So just just like that. And further ado, let me go back and get the next barrel. So it's right where it, it's uh, pointing at. So um, hopefully we're gonna um, direct this barrel somewhere where we can go on and uh, activate the next uh, trap door of the gateway. So further ado, let's just place it this uh, direction. So let's just see how it works. So come on now, it gotta work. So I don't know how much we're gonna uh, carry this thing off. So let's, let's just try. So further ado, can I just do something? Just lit out the button? Or, okay, so I think I got it now. So can it work? So come on, lit out the button. Put it, make it green. Okay, I don't see why it's not turning green. So let me try it again. So if you do anything, just turn green. What's the problem? Okay, I don't see why it's not working. Uh, where am I supposed to put it to? This way? Okay, uh, I kind of see the difference. So can I climb up back up there? Uh, where am I supposed to do just about now? Because I need two cubes to activate this door. Anyway, it's so not, um, okay, I'm a little frustrated. This is not working out for me because I don't have enough barrel to carry anymore. So apparently, let me get back down and see. Are there anything we can do? Get on a barrel or something? Or do anything, right? Like, be honest. If even... Oh, you know, anyway. Let's just try get it off the thing. So let's just place this box somewhere, um, this way. Could that work? Okay, you know what? Let's just try placing the box in this direction. And further ado, we're gonna go on and uh, place this uh, box. Because I can't understand this puzzle. It's, uh, it's pretty much hard to understand. Alright, you know what? Let me uh, put this there somewhere this way. Okay, we're gonna place this this way, this direction. And we're gonna put it just about this way. Alright, that works, so let's just see how, what happens. So, we can just put this uh, box this, this direction. And I just got stuck up for the cube, that's no good. Okay, so let me try this one more time. Okay, you guys, I am back with another frustrating episode. But apparently, here you have you guys have noticed. Because eventually, I have uh, connected the puzzle because it's a pretty hard puzzle. I cannot tell the pattern uh, or quickly unlock the gates to uh, get the chest. But apparently here's what you have to do. So you have to put the first barrel in this direction 
and the second barrel on this row, and the last, um, he blocked a chunk of a cube that is, uh, essentially the last spot you need to go on to connect the network to the next shrine to, uh, whatever this thing glowing look like, because eventually here you have it. So let's open the chest, and let's see what's inside. So first we had the Thunder Blade, a magical sword forged and, uh, refined by lightning from the Hyrule Hills. When the blade shines, uh, Shines with a golden light. It will let the the enemy struck by it. By it. okay, then. Well, we uh, kind of like that. So um, why am I in between four? Okay, well, eventually let me go and get rid of stuff. I need, really need to go and use the um the thunder one. So eventually let me go on and uh, get rid of this. I don't need the branch, so let me drop that. So eventually, can I do I have enough room to uh fit more weapons in? You don't mind? Okay, well I'll take some more. So I don't really need the um the branch anymore, so I'm gonna drop that. So we're gonna go and keep the bokoblin arms. And further ado, here we have it. So now we're gonna go on ahead and use this, the new uh thunder blade. We're gonna equip that. And further ado, we're just gonna go on and keep it in our back. So now we can go on further ahead and uh wait. I can't attack or do nothing. What I put the thunder blade? Okay, I cannot go on and use it on enemy, but eventually, oh, I can press on Y to uh, use it, so that's good. Never mind, I almost forgot the wrong button, so I'm sorry about that. So, further ado, I need to go on and buy and uh, get the next puzzle done, so I will see you when I'm, I'm done with that, so I'll see you later. Alright guys, I'm um, back with the video, and further ado, I, I think you got a little bit much of a on how to solve all the puzzles, but apparently you almost forgot you got to get the chest. In order to collect all these three um tables that is particularly are lit. So right now we're gonna um put this box right about here and now here we have it. So eventually is this supposed to work? Oh hold on, I have to put I have to separate them. So we're gonna separate the two. And here you have it you guys. So this is why I got a little uh frustrated because I didn't want to go on back to YouTube and uh figure this uh puzzle out because it's just for a little kid's strategy how to figure out not to play but eventually I just figured out myself how to uh, play it just about now not to go on YouTube and look at it but eventually, get out of my way dude a lot of times I had to get the spirit on so I'll be out of your way so eventually I think Carol, we're gonna go on and uh, connect this uh, box uh, further ado, we can go on and push it um, this way and uh, further ado, um, it's just supposed to do something, come on now get in the, get in the box there you go. So now we got the two um keys connected to each other. So now let's go on ahead and get the spirit oil. So but now on that to care. No more of this uh, shine stuff. So apparently let's just go on to examine it and so we can uh, call out the end. So eventually here we go. So um, here you have it, you guys. So we uh pretty much um eventually got the um, the first spirit oil that we continued the other day. So um right now let's just take one and get out of here. And uh, further ado, so we can uh, call out the end of the episode, or should we now? Yeah, I should, think we should. So I'm, I'm apparently making a a, a, par uh, a very long episode, so I need to go on and speed this thing up. So hopefully I don't have enough time to waste, so let's just go on ahead and uh, get this uh, Zelda again to load so we can continue on. So uh, further ado, this is going to be um, it. So right now, here we have it, you guys. So uh, now we uh, acclaim the first shrine that we are supposed to be awaiting today. So that'll be it, you guys. So thank you guys for staying tuned for another episode. So if you uh, enjoy it, enjoy it right now, like the episode right now, share it with your friends, subscribe, become ever tell at subscribe by reaching our goal to 119 to 130 subscribers at supporting my channel as well by sharing more with people to uh, gain much more ever tell subscribers. I want, wish you want the, the guys to do that, okay? So uh, pretty much the link in the description below. Make sure you follow these six steps to help you get started in the video if you want to. Uh, to work my content as well, feel free to do that by following me guys on Google and Twitter and Patreon in the link in the description below. My most support my channel if you guys are watching this video right now, okay? So, if you are new to my channel, just about now, go on the episode and subscribe on my right hand side. If you missed the last episode, go check that one out on, on my left hand side and watch that. And we'll talk to you guys next episode of The Lesser of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. So, talk to you guys later.